All righty, we're live again. Hello, everyone. Hope you're happy and you know it. If you're not, you can clap your hands, something like that. Um, so, sorry about that. So today, today is Friday, which means that we go over our concept for the week and we play games to look at those concepts. So the concept for this week is the transition. So last, um... I, I remember last time we we met on uh, Wednesday it was a rare occasion. I, I broadcast late Wednesday because I had a adoption match with my older brother and I actually ended up adopting him. So basically, you know, if somebody says, who's your daddy? He, he has to say Tiberian. So that's kind of fun for me. And I started looking at those games and I think we can look at those games for those transitions we're talking about. Um, and so, fun maybe for me to look at him again. I don't, I don't know if he'd want to look. But let's just see if we can get to where we're talking about the transitioning from the middle game. And this is a good one because it got to a middle game, right? This is, you're in the middle game. White has one more piece to develop. Black has two more pieces to develop. Everybody's cast. Everybody's looking good. Push the pawn. Looks like we're going to develop our bishop this way. And... White immediately starts to double attack on the knight because we're going to force him to take back with a pawn eventually. So we are still in the middle game. And so what we've been learning this week is when and how do we transition from the middle game to the end game? And this is predicated on the fact that we spent two weeks working on our end game, primarily king and pawn and rook, rooks and pawns. We need to spend more time on end games, but I wanted to maybe, you know, go back and forth so it doesn't lock you into a boring state of just the end game. And we want to look at the fact that you transition from the middle game to the end game, knowing when you and how and if you should. So mostly if you're ahead on material, if you have a better pawn structure, if you're looking better in those in those sense. So this is our first game, I believe. And as you can see, we have a little bit of an advantage, right? Um, the king is going to be exposed for a while. The king's going to sit here or here. The bishop's holding him out. So the queens still haven't been developed, but that's okay. Many times you're going to launch attacks before you're finished developing, if you're ahead in development, or if you just see the tactical possibilities. And on this one, we had a tactical possibility. Now um, white is hoping to get his knight here, and they get his queen here and end the game. This is looking to be a quick end versus a long time figuring it out end. White went here thinking, yep, this would all happen. And he went, ah, and I know that knight took. Here, white, um, white said, oh, black trying to go here to protect. So he thought, well, if he goes here first, it goes here first, the bishop could take, then he could take, and then the knight can't get there. And if the knight takes the pawn, then we get, you know, we get our checkmate. Forgetting that the knight actually protects the checkmating square. But thinking that with the check, it doesn't matter if he if he plops the knight in there, you checkmate him, right? That's the idea. But of course, this is what happened, and the king just moves, so there's no checkmate. Sudakus, mi amigo, you like the banner? Thank you very much. That is our Mayhem Chess Tournament banner. So since you brought it up, Sudakus, I don't know how many people are here right now, but we, and I'll talk about it more than once during tonight, but we have a big tournament hopefully coming up. Eight players, streamers, chess streamers, and they're going to be playing. And you can think pog champs, but they're chess streamers. They're not other pog, you know, they're not professional online gamers that don't play chess and are only doing it for the tournament. These are primarily chess streamers. They can stream other things, but primarily chess. And after they stream chess, we're going to have them play in our tournament. And so they can have some fun and learn. And the biggest thing, HS Wizard, the biggest thing is that what we want to do about this tournament is two things. Teach people how to play better. That's what we both Sudakus and I are, are, are primarily focused on. Uh, helping people become better chess players. So we want to help people play better chess. 
So that's one of our main focuses. And the other one is to help them build up a community. We like a community of, of beginning chess players that are trying to get better, that care about each other, that are polite, get along, um, not nasty, try to help each other, looking to help each other improve. So that's our community. And we thought it'd be great to have a chess tournament with bringing in more streamers into that community. We want those streamers to come in and say, yeah, we want to help people get better and we want to have good, clean fun. We want to um, stream chess and we want to get better. So that's that's really our focus. And that's why, yes, you see now I've put in the Chess Mayhem uh, uh, banner in there. Thank you for the design, Sudakus. So we're going to be holding that tournament May 3rd through 6th. Put it on your calendars now. May 3rd through 6th, I'm going to create a night bot. Let me write a note there on um, Mayhem. I'm going to call it Mayhem. And I'm going to do a night bot uh, reminder that I could just say Mayhem and it'll 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 tell you guys, all right? So uh, it's Mayhem because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a, uh, this one is a pilot, but we're working up towards a 64 player tournament. Now that's like maybe in a year from now, that's what we're shooting for. 64 player tournament. Half of them are going to be able to be streamers, and the other half are going to be you guys, viewers. You don't even have to be a streamer. Hey, little sheep. Hey, teal. So um, then we'll have a field of streamers and viewers, still chess-focused, but it'll be a single elimination. No consolation bracket, no figuring out where you actually fall. It'll be just like March Madness, so we're kind of patterning it after the NCAA basketball tournament, more so than Pop Champs. So this will be a single elimination tournament. Boom, you're done. Uh, you win, you you go on to the next day, you lose, you go home. Uh, but it'll be fun. That's what we're working towards. I definitely going to do a night bot for Mayhem. All right. So still talking about transitions in this game. And we're looking at the fact that uh, White has an attack going, but he's trying to get to the transition phase, right? He's trying to transition. And so now we are almost at the end game. And when do you know you're at the end game? It's usually when most of the pieces, especially the minor pieces, most of the minor pieces are off the board. Many times you have one or two left, but you get most of the minor pieces off the board. Queens are many times last till the end game. A lot of players don't like playing without their queen. So it's very common that the queens are still on the board come the end game. Um, do they send a link in the chat to the tournament? There's no link to the tournament yet. If you mean the Mayhem tournament, uh, it's going to be in May, May 3rd through 6th. I'm going to do a night bot reminder, so I don't have to keep saying this, uh, but it'll be May 3rd through 6th. It'll be eight streamers playing in it, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. It'll be two hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully you can make it, you, if you work like me, you can do it during lunch and watch it during lunch, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes. All right, maybe, and then we're gonna look at doing another pilot, maybe with more players, maybe up to 20 players, and then go for the 64. And so maybe the 20, we'll also try one at night and see how that works. We, we gotta try different times, different places and see how it goes. All right, so question is, we just took back, is black ready to transition to an end game? Well, we have double pawns for white. We have double pawns for white, which also, remember, every time you have a weakness, you usually have something. You have, it's a quid pro quo, right? You get something for something. So double pawns are a weakness, yes, but two pawn islands and two semi-open files for the attack. This pawn is a backward pawn, so this pawn could be weak later, and that could give white an advantage, but basically black has the advantage of the double pawns. Black has one set of double pawns and an isolated pawn. Two pawn islands, two pawn islands. We have a dark square bishop against a dark square bishop. All the other materials equal. So is anybody really ready to go to an end game? Right? That's part of the question you have to ask yourself. And um, Black makes, I, I think, a tactical error in trading the rook for a bishop because that's still the exchange, even though, you know, you might say all things, other things equal. You're still giving up the exchange, but I think Black didn't like that everything is going to get locked down, and eventually, you know, because his his rook really has no squares, and he can't double up his rooks because of that. So he decided to simplify. So now White says, 
Now, right now, we can go to an end game. We're kind of in the end game, right? It's not the middle game anymore. There's not enough material on the board for a middle game. So it's time to go for an end game. And white is up the exchange. So this would be a good time for white to start looking to exchange into the middle game. I mean, to the end game. And so he does. He get he steals a pawn because right? the rook left. Could have protected the rook, but you know could have gotten sticky. Uh, the rook would have moved up. Maybe not there. Maybe not there. How about here? And then you would have doubled up rooks on the rook, and we would have seen what we could do. But anyway, um, we get we get some juxt ju um, juxtapositioning. We get some positioning movement, and we get this. Uh, there were other options like maybe doubling up first, because then you're threatening a lot more. Uh, but went for went for the trades already. Black king queen came over to protect and is looking for here. So we've already transitioned into an endgame, but there's still more to be done, right? This endgame isn't over yet. But now we simplify to a rook versus bishop endgame. And so now it's very much let's play this endgame out. And I got to show you a move I missed uh, because I don't mind admitting when I miss. So right here, right here, guys, what should white do? Look for a move. Tell me what you think white should do. This is the very first game in my adoption match, playing my older brother, and I miss a winning move right now. I, I, I can't believe I missed it. You might ask, why did we go back and forth? Why did we go back and forth? Well, um, black has to be weary because if he leaves his bishop here, right, if he pushes a pawn, let's say, let's say, uh, hello. If he pushes a pawn, white has checkmate. No squares. Because this one got taken away. White has no squares. So f4, you like f4. Okay. I, f4, I don't like as much, but you're still threatening mates, right? So that's that might work. Let's see. No, f4, king could take here. King could take g4. That gets you out of it. Okay, chess whiz, I'll take a look at it. Um, I'm not sure where that... I know you can change yours. I'll see what I can do about changing mine, all right? I'll take a look at it. Hey, Dola Bender, thank you. I like your normal. So, yeah, here, um, Chris, we get king takes. But right now, right now, white... It's frustrating. I'm going to move to analysis board. White, oh, turn, go off, go away. I do not like computers telling me what to do. I do not like them, said Sam I am. So yeah, king here. King to g3? Nope, we did that one. Went back and forth already. Um, ratchet. Yeah, king to here. Threatening mate. He comes here. Check. And so we come back here because from here, the bishop, the bishop had no good squares. We're threatening mate. We're threatening mate. So the bishop, this is the only square he had. And this is the move I missed during the game. Because now the bishop has no squares. Can't go here. The rook will take him off. Can't go here. The king will take him off. Can't go here. The pawn will take him off. He goes here, it's checkmate. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. And I missed that in the game. I missed that. I was like, oh, yes, yeah, Sudakus. Yeah, that, that threatens it too, it feels like. But then the king takes this pawn. And then the king's going to take that pawn. Yeah, I, oh, I missed this. It's just, I was like, ah. Well, did you? Which transitioned to a complicated end game, and I won there. Let's take a look at that game then, Dolo Bender. I love looking at your guys' games. But this is the first game, like I was saying, and I missed this winning move. But but still, if you look way back here, White decided, White was very happy. White was very happy to trade down, not trade, but trade into an end game where he's up a rook for a bishop. And rooks are much more powerful in the end game. We have an open file for the rook. We have a semi-open file and another semi-open file for the rook. All righty. Yes, please put it in the study for me and uh, send me the link. That's great. We'll go take a look at that one too. I mean, I could just look at your games and you could just tell me which one it is. But in a study, it's easy too. All right, guys. So that was the first one, right? Transition to a rook and bishop endgame and then carry it home. You got to bring it home. You got to know your endgames to bring it home. So we did that and I feel good about that much. Okay. Let's see. So that was the very first game in the in the um, adoption match. Very first game in the adoption match. Let's see what happens in the second game. Hey, good. I got the theme. I got it right. The night bot's right today. Hey. 
Hey, I'm getting better, guys. So we play a game. Again, we're not playing the best chess. It's, uh, as my brother reminded me, five-minute chess, even 5-5, five, five, isn't the best game. Aren't the best games. Hey, Ratchet, yeah, you need we, you need to watch the last two weeks before this week. The last two weeks we worked on end games. You need to check out my end game stream that we did for two weeks. Help you with the end game. All right, so we're, we're definitely in the middle game here. And again, we're positioning, trying to get our pieces into better and better positions. And um, it's we're not in an end game, but it, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready to trade queens and maybe get to an end game? Is it time? Nope, we're going to steal free candy. Always take free candy. And we get some more dynamics going on. You're still in the middle game. You're not in the end game yet. You haven't simplified enough to the end game, um, but you win. You win a whole piece. You know, it's it's it, it's he he lost a piece. He missed a piece. Um, so these were the first two games. Lost a piece, but now it's like black should be happy to go to an end game, right? Because black is ahead a whole piece. So when you're a whole piece, there you go. You simplify. You get to the end game, and then you should be able to win the game. The guy's got to get used to. Hey, I'm going to simplify. In fact, look at this one. He says, I'm going to give up the exchange because I'm up a whole piece. So simplify, simplify, um, not simplify, but simplify is cool too. Uh, but this is simplify. So you simplify to the end, one end game. And again, simplifying to one end game. Just easy breezy and you just finish the game easy. All right. So that's, that's our second game. Again, when someone drops a piece in the middle game, if you can then turn around and simplify into your end game quickly, you're going to be in good shape. All right, let's see one more game maybe. Um, we, we had 10. We had 10, guys. We had 10. Hey, great news, Sudakus. So, guys, we are still battling to make sure we get eight quality players for our Mayhem tournament. So some of the requirements that make it tough. One, they have to be a low enough rating because we want them to be um, well matched, right? We don't want a, a 2,000 or a 13,000, I mean, 1,300, even a 1,400 playing against like 700, right? So we're trying to keep the ratings in inside of a ballpark. Added to that, Dudakus and I will be teaching them. So we again, I don't want a 2,000 because he probably doesn't want me teaching him anything, right? He wants, he should be getting somebody a lot stronger to teach him. So I love teaching. Uh, Sudaku's loves teaching. So we want players that we feel that we can definitely help improve. And, and so we want them to be a, a low enough rating. So one is they need to be 1,200 in chess.com or under 1,400 in Lee Chess. All right. That's number one. You have to be a low enough rating. Two, you got to use a webcam on your stream because we're going to interview you afterwards. And we want you to be able, and we want to watch you play, right? We got to be able to watch you play, not not to make sure you don't cheat. Um, you know, God forbid somebody would be cheating during a stream. That would be terrible. Um, but so that we can all enjoy and watch, right, the tension. And if it's just a still picture, that's nothing there. So we, you need to have a webcam for your stream. Even if you don't normally use a webcam, you got to use one for our tournament. You uh, need to be personable, right? You need to be friendly. You need to be wanting to learn, and and people, we have to like you. So yeah, and and yes, we as in Sudakus and I and you, all of you, but we're representing you guys, and it's our tournament, so we get to make sure it's people that we like. Uh, so uh, Sudakus is telling us that Crybaby Carly is in the tournament. She's uh, decided to join. Michael Jordan personal. I don't know what that means. Um. I don't know what that means. But besides the fact, I love Michael Jordan as a basketball player. I grew up watching him. So I don't know what you mean, Chris, but I know you'll explain it to me later. Please let me know what you mean. Um, but yeah, so we like, we got to like you. We got to get along. We got to, and, and you've got to want to build not only your community, but help others build theirs. And the community we're talking about is these um, personal, nice, friendly chess players and, and chess streamers that just want to get better together and learn. So there you have it. So Carly, uh, Cry Baby Carly is in. Good. Um, I don't remember who else we have locked down. We had eight that we were inviting that we had um, actually had 10 already on the list that we were inviting. And we're trying to push and get them to answer so that we could start doing the lessons, guys. We have to do the lessons. By the way, next week, I'm probably not going to do my normal because I'm going to try to spend my normal um, times that I would give you a lesson 
and we do the lesson on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But instead of doing the lesson three parts for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, what I'm going to do next week is probably give one-on-one -on -one lessons to our players. And if I don't have players, then I'll, I'll either do a lesson with you guys or we'll do something else. So uh, there you have it. But Cry Baby Carly is in the tournament. Awesome. And in fact, um, that's the other thing I would like to do is with the Mayhem Tournament uh, Sudakus, I'm going to uh, create not only explaining what the tournament is, but then I would like to be able to list all the players as we get them locked in. So I can just hit my little thing on my Nightbot and it'll show people what that is. Oh, how Michael Jordan took things personal. What, I'm still not sure what you mean. Um, I mean, he was an extreme competitor. He took everything. For, yeah, if you talk trash, he took it personal. And 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 I was I was. It's funny that you bring up Michael Jordan, Chris, because I just watched a YouTube uh, video about him and um, what's his name, um, Charles Barkley. were talking on Oprah. <laughs> funny stuff. Funny stuff. But then uh, also I was watching where they were talking about how different players would talk trash to him, including Reggie Miller and some others. And they were like, "Yeah, you never do that anymore." Because then he just goes off and scores like 40. He was talking about one time, he's like, yeah, I got, you know, you only scored four points in the first half. I scored eight, you know, or 10, you know, and he was talking trash to him. And he says, yeah, the second half, I scored one more basket and he scored 44. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, just amazing stuff. Okay, so again, we're, we're seeing the game. We're getting here. Are we going to get, when do we transition to the end game? So we're almost there now. We got the queens off the board. King can stay in the middle of the board because the queens are off the board. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but I, don't, I still don't know, uh, Chris, how does that relate to the uh, uh, Mayhem tournament? I guess we don't want people getting too overly personal, I guess, uh, getting upset about playing. We want them to have fun. All right, so first thing is, um, so we're not in the end game. And if you notice... You guys, I, I've been asked, my class asked me especially. Yes. Oh, okay, Ratchet. So you're actually good. You were you were being, you were joking about it. So you're actually really good at your end game and you just want to, I don't know. So um, the problem is sometimes though, my, my class was asking me last night. So, yeah, you know, how do I, you know, what do I do when you get to the middle game? You know, and, and the question could be around positional or strategic play. Positional play are things like you have a semi-open file. I'm sorry, you have a wide open file. You have a wide open file for both colors, right? Black has the open files. White has the open files. Black has a semi-open file here. White has two pawn advantage, although they're double pawn. <laughs> well, thanks, Ratchet. Um, we have white has a two pawn advantage, but they're doubled pawns. And, you know, the sad part is white is up a whole piece, right? So when you're up a whole piece, what do you do? You start looking for simplification. So the rook has no squares, only here and here. And if the rook goes here, the bishop comes here. The rook can go here, the bishop comes here. That rook is falling for a bishop. It's going to be a loss of the exchange no matter what he does. So he tries to make some room, and then he tries, uh, and I thought he might be trying, you know, this to open it up a little, but no. I just goes back, and we trade. And so now white is not only up a full piece, but he's also up an exchange, right? So he's up now a full rook, basically. So he went from being up um, other um, minor piece to being up a full rook. Um, yeah. So it's hard, and you're happily in the end game now. You have two pass pawns, and you have an extra piece. So this end game should be easy to win. So the idea is, again, uh, when you get to the point where you feel like you have a winning position, and you have to know you have a winning position if you have control of the files. Well, and it's so far the last three games have been obvious. I've been up interior, right? So that makes it easy to know. All right, let's go check. Dolo Benders. Uh, so Dolo Bender gave it to me in here, which is not as easy to look at. So let's go to. Um, is this in your study though? It's in your study. There you go. I'm in the study. All right. Let's check it out. And um, you're playing 
Siberia, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure he has students that um, actually aged out. <laughs> so um, a lot of stuff I teach are homeschool students. Homeschooling, which means they get to college age, uh, they, they're out of my class, right? And so some return. Now, what's, what makes me feel really good, uh, just um, not this one, next one, uh, it makes me feel really good is that the, they get to choose, right? A lot of times they can only pick one or two classes to take, and they choose. if they choose chess, that means they chose not to do something else, and they chose chess as their subject for that semester. So that always, always uh, makes me feel good. So you're saying not this game, um, Dola Bender? This is not the game? Is this the one that I saw in the message you sent? So let me look again. All right. So, oh, I see down here. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Let's take a look at it. Thank you, Dolo Bender. Thank you for your patience and helping me find it. So who are you playing in this one, though? I didn't get to see. Oh, Hyper Dragon, not my student. Okay. And Dolo Bender, you're at 14, 19 right now. And, and guys, I tell you what. You keep working on your end games with us, and you you've been working on the, all these basics. Uh, your rating doesn't always reflect your strength. I think Dolo Bender's playing much better than fourteen nineteen in Lee Chess. He's going to get the rating points. It's just a little bit of time. He just needs to play more games. He's going to be up there with Ratchet and and everybody else around nineteen hundred. Why? Because you guys are learning the principles and the concepts. And it's just, you know, you're still maybe making blunders. You're still giving away free candy. If we go back to my brother that was playing me, he was 1,500. And you saw the first three games, he, he dropped a piece. In all first three games, he dropped a minor piece. And that's still at 1,500. So you guys stop dropping pieces. I'm telling you, you're going to be 15, 1,600 before you know it. Yep, this is Black from uh, Chess.com. Oh, okay. Okay, so in chess.com, your rating is 1419, which is like 1619 in at least 16, right? 1700 probably in Lee Chess. Okay, okay. Yeah, people do give away free candy still, Ratchet. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's why, you, you know, but it's, if we can stop doing that, no botes, gambits, no giving away queens, no giving away minor pieces. So my brother at 15 and change in Lee Chess, if you notice, he didn't give away a queen. He gave away minor pieces, just one or two here and there. Hey, Chess Whiz. All right. So let's see what we got going here. All right. So, so far, so good. Uh, what do I like and what don't I like? Um, I'm, I'm going into teacher mode. Sorry, Dolo. I hope you don't mind. But I'm looking it over and I'm like, okay, he has to develop the bishop. He has to get the queen out somewhere. He probably needs to still fight for the center. He's not really occupying the center with a pawn. So I'm, um, be honest, I'm not crazy about this move. I'm trying to think of what it does. It does free the bishop. So maybe you're trying to think about pushing the pawn. And it does attack his bishop, which is undefended, right? You're, it's, it's undefended. So now you're threatening to take free candy. So he has to move it somewhere and he has to decide where. Okay. You couldn't find a good square for this bishop? Really? Really? Pinning the knight isn't a good square for the bishop? Seems like a naturally good square for that bishop. Okay, Ratchet. First you said you're not good at end games. Then you said, actually, I am pretty good at it. Then you say you give away your queen. Then you say, no, it's an Eric Rosen. Oh, no, my queen. Ratchet, come on. Stop pulling our chain, man. Come on. Um, you couldn't find a good square. So anyway, I think you had a good square for the bishop. And there you now you put it in the good square for the bishop. So I think you did have a good square for the bishop. He puts the question. You take. Okay. And we're... Getting close, but we finally get, that's nice. I mean, I got to like you finally fighting for the center. I like that. And he locks it up. All right. So right now, no pawns have been traded. So there's no semi-open files. There's no open files to be had. Knight repositions. Okay. I'm happy so far. Everything is okay. Life is good. And he logically wants to get rid of the bishop, making a hole for your queen. I mean, your king, right? Making a, a, a weak spot on your castled side. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, but but hey, Dolo, that's the nature of this type of opening. He just doesn't get into the game until near the end game. Sometimes you just have to live with that. 
Yeah, you just really kind of, when you fianchetto your bishop, and this is your pawn structure in the center, you have to have in your mind, I'm okay with this. The bishop's going to maybe come here, but a lot of times he's going to wait till I get to the end game to come to life. Maybe I'll push this and trade off and get this pawn pushed. You know this bishop will take a long time to come to life. And your other bishop, just uh, educational, this bishop was your good bishop because, right, if your pawns end up on dark squares, this is your good bishop. And that's why the bad bishop is on a dark square. It makes sense. He's a bad bishop because he doesn't, he's not on the right color for him. Now, this is his dark, this is his bad bishop. So I'm not ecstatic about you trading off your good bishop for a knight uh, and being stuck with your bad bishop. But yeah, that's, that is the nature of the beast when you fianchetto and you have your, this is your pawn structure. If your pawns were here, of course, then your bishop would be very lively. Okay, so it's just, it's the nature of beast. You have to, you have to live with it. Uh, nine out of 10 times, by the way, Dolo, we don't take. Nine out of 10 times, we allow the bishop to take, and then the king steps up into the breach, protecting these two squares. Very rarely do we take. Very rarely. So you're, you're finding rare ground because you're taking. Now, looks like you want to reposition the knight. You have your both knights over here. So you're, you're trying to, to give yourself a chance over here. I like it. I understand it. I'm with you. No problem. Um, at this point, though, if I'm white, I'm pushing here. I don't know if he does. I uh, know he doesn't, but I'd be pushing here. And then, yeah, you chase me away, and I might go to here, but I'm like, okay, I'm pawn storming. I'm going to bring my get my knight over here as fast as I can. I'm going to castle queenside because look where all your pieces are trying to help out your king because your king has these weak squares now. So that's what I would be doing. Not, not that it's mandatory, of course, in any way. But yeah, I would have went all the way. I would have been, let's go. Now, your knight could have went here. Ooh, that would have been tricksy um, to trap trap your queen. Uh, so that that might have been, a, yeah, that might have been tricksy. Maybe maybe you don't want to do that right away. I didn't even think about the knight coming here. That could be annoying. I just thought about your knight doing what you had planned to do. But yeah, so I still, I'm eh, not crazy. I still would want to get that move in later. And here, I'd still rather see you being back here and then again castle and go to town so black's advantage right now is the fact this knight still hasn't been developed this rook is sitting there quiet and white still hasn't castled and even though black is being uh white has black has some issues because of his castle position being weakened he still is castle oh you don't think the queen gets trapped if uh let's see just out of curiosity so you're saying here here and now the queen is losing squares and i don't know if it'll get but you may be chased a lot a bit yes yeah and this is just such a good square for the knight look at this i mean it's just such a good square for the knight why why i i'm so i'm actually changing my mind i'm thinking yeah don't let the knight get into this square so i can definitely understand this move much better but i still want him to prep that he should be pushing soon but anyway move around and we trade so we're basically saying we're going to go to the end game. No, it's big knight against knights. Yeah. It should be it should be very draw friendly. This should be a very draw friendly end game. So what do we do? We just in created an open file. We created the open file before white has castled. So white assisted in this by the way, guys. White assisted in this. He pushes, right? And white protects and ends up double pawns. I mean not double pawns ends up with the open file. And so black did fine, opens the file, and black gets to occupy the file first because white just opened it, right? Was the last move. And white still hasn't castled. So black very smartly says, I'm working on the open file. That's where I got to play. Now, the knights, unfortunately, this knight has no squares really, right? I mean, this knight really doesn't have much to do right now. And this knight is on the rim. So we know the knights on the rim are grim. So we have two bad knights at the moment that need to reposition chess to become effective, right? <laughs> you, you have troubles. So maybe we need to open it up and, right, and get the knights active. So interestingly enough, this does force an open file eventually, but I probably would have liked 
maybe going this way instead because this is fine in my mind. Um, I'm happy, except I got to be careful. Got to be careful. Um, but overall, I'm I'm thinking this is you know, and so I, I want to get that in. I, I think I want to I think I want to play on this file and get my knights that are already over here to become active. But this this works right. Uh, the white castles and black says I got to get my knights active. Got to get my knights active. On the open file after b4, the rook has almost no inf and yeah. So another reason why I'm not as excited about this one because the bishop holds these two, uh, the knight helps hold it. The pawn actually holds this one, so b4 keeps him out of here. But right now the pawn is holding, so right now there's none of these squares. So the only square that the rooks have are here. So interesting, but it's it's that's what the game is. So white gets to fight for the file because black didn't take the opportunity to try to double up. And this is a mistake in general. And, and I'm, I'm just, we're talking general rules and concepts, right? Okay, yes. The E4 weakness, it's, okay, Dolo Bender, let me get back to that because that's a great point. Um, but if you take Dolo Bender, you relinquish the file. If you let your opponent take, you keep the file so guys this is it's basic right we you got to think about if i take he takes back his rook has the open file regardless of how many squares he has he still has the open file and he does have some nice squares to come to this is going to be a nice square for his rook so oh, okay you want to trade off all the rooks okay okay and then but if you trade off all the rooks then the file isn't as important so this uh, you're saying is a weakness. Uh, it's I don't know why you're considering it a weakness. It can be after you trade off, if you trade off this pawn and he takes back, then it would be the backward pawn, but this is a backward pawn too. So this is definitely a weakness. This is definitely a weakness. And Dolo Bender's uh, saving grace partially is there's no dark squared bishop to attack this. But this is a weakness. And that white bishop can never attack that square. All right. But this isn't really a weakness. It's protected twice. It has a pawn that can protect it. So I don't consider this pawn a weakness at this time. It might be a target. It might be a target. Okay, you can't change the frame rate. I'll, I'll remind me. Remind me, chess uh, wizard, in a moment. I got to figure out where that setting is and see if I can change it for you. But anyway, at my end. So here he gets the open file, and here you opt to offer to trade. Okay, so let's say, let's see what he does. He didn't trade. He says, you could take and then I'll have a pawn here. What I'm looking at is, this is your weak pawn and I'm thinking he's gonna get here and try to attack eventually um, because this is your weakness. All right, so you take, and now we have one isolated pawn, but again, this is, this is pure end game now. It was pure end game three moves ago. When the rooks were there. So interesting situation, right? We, we get to where this pawn is pretty deep. Nice. Uh, this is a backward pawn. On, white only has one piece that can attack it. So this bishop needs open lines. And there's really not that many open lines. And his pawns are in his own color, which restricts the bishop. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're not great yet. But the nicety is that this bishop is being hampered by his own pawns. And so we, the, the other knight might have a chance to come to life, especially if we could trade off those. Um, if we could trade off the knight, and it's a knight against the bishop, if the pawns are all on white, white's going to have troubles. But maybe not horrendous troubles. So we get the attack on the pawn, which black preemptively protected. We got this protection of this pawn so this bishop could be free. And maybe, maybe he should have tried to get the bishop into here and start doing, see what the bishop can do instead of bringing the knight in. Now that the bishop isn't needed for this, I'm thinking I need to get my bishop onto an open diagonal where he might be able to do some damage. Also, I'd be looking at pushing this pawn for sure because if I can trade off this pawn, then I have the fabled, the mythical, the wanted by everyone past pawn, right? We want the past pawn. Hey, Brandon, how are you? So I, I don't see this as a great move. It blocks in the bishop still. 
Uh, we might be playing like this, but I just don't see it as a great move yet. Let's see what happens. King just starts coming, and we get our first attack at the pawn. By the way, if the knight gets here, he still can't go anywhere. It's only one piece can attack it. So this this knight, this pawn can move, but you know, then then maybe we're getting the bishop in. Unfortunately, we have no way to protect this pawn otherwise. So it has to move. What would have been better, again, uh, might be here. Because then if we get here, maybe we get here. And now this is a nice square for the knight. But again, you know, it's not attacking anything uh, directly. Sorry, here. It's not really attacking anything yet. And we also will get nice squares for our knight. But this would be done purely to try to restrict the bishop. But, you know, you get this move. Things get crazy. You start opening up lines. So, yeah. So let's see what happens. Anyway, um, chase the knight. The knight does get here anyway. So either way, the knight would have been getting there. And I like it that the black king just keeps coming over. Just keeps coming over. But now, of course, we have a discovered attack. So we have a discovered attack set up. Um, you want to place your pawns on black. Interesting. So Dolo, depending on the situation, if you had put all your pawns on white, which not all of them, because these guys ain't going to change. Uh, but if you put some of your pawns on white, you can actually restrict the bishop's movement. And that is a valuable thing to be able to do, to restrict the bishop's movement. So you got to decide, do I want to make it where he can't attack my pawns? Or do I want to make it where I can keep his bishop from being active? So tough calls, right? Uh, in general, usually you try to put your pawns on the same color as your opponent's bishop until you get so many few pieces that then he's able to attack them. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's I, I can't say it was the wrong choice because he would have had this and broken up your pawns, and then it might have been a sitting duck. So I'm not saying it's wrong in this case, because in this case, it, you might have made the right choice. Nice find here because it was looking pretty bad because, you you know, you would have had to go back. So this is a nice find to activate the knight. The knight needs to be activated anyway, um, but it, it still feels like that knight's stuck there for a long time. I don't know how he gets anywhere. Uh, so uh, let's see. So allow that, first of all. So chess wizard is is thinking a good move would have been knight. Um, take a seven. When now? That's not his move. Yeah, that's not his move though. Right? You're saying if he doesn't block, he doesn't block, then yeah, knight to h seven gives a check and he wins the pawn and threatens to trade the knight. But um. But yeah, so Dolabender blocked it, which is like the only way to keep this from happening. And so now if he just takes, you just lose the knight. So it doesn't work now. But it would have worked if he didn't block. If he didn't block and he stayed in the discover check. All right. Ah, oh, tax your knight. Okay, which, which right, says this pawn is going to fall. So again, maybe if you were on white, I don't know. It's so it's so hard to make that decision. So I'm looking, and I don't see much ways for you to get out of this. Uh, you're you're. It feels like you're going to lose this pawn. Um, yeah, and you can't get here. This knight is so annoying, guys. So again, I like the pawn maybe staying here, uh, but there was no way to keep him here because you couldn't protect him. Why? Why? Remember, you said this was a weakness. I said this was the actual weakness. Notice that this is a pain because he's so far back. The knight attacks. You can't get your knight over here quick enough. Your knight can't go here to protect, right? If that wasn't a pawn there, your knight could protect. But your knight can't get here to protect. So you have to either move, you know, and, and at this point, you have no choice uh, because you'll lose it, right? You can't go here. You'll just lose it. So... Yeah, and he gets in because that pawn was doing such good work. And now he gets in. And then from there, he keeps your king in, in trouble. So, all right, so let's see what you did. You moved your knight, which you kind of had to, and he gets to take. Now, you have the return of favor, right? You have a good square that you can get your knight to, um, which you did. Excellent, excellent. Still on a dark square, only the knight can attack you. 
He throws a check in. Always look for checks. Always look for checks. Checks might give you good things. And he missed it. Do you guys see it? You guys see what he missed? What did he move here for? This is what is he doing? It's protected. Did you see what he missed? What did he miss? Yeah, the knight loses his good square. I, 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 that's ratchet. That's what he tried. But did he actually lose the square? Because me, I'm putting the knight right back with check. Now I'm going to trade. Now I'm going to trade or win a, a, right? I'm going to trade or win a piece, right? Knight to c6. Yeah, just goes back. Just goes back. What do you do? You can move and let me take. Oh, actually, and you can't even move and protect your knight. If you move and protect the knight, I have a discovered attack. So I'm going to take that pawn. So you have actually now you have no choice. You have to take. And now he gets the pass. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And he could take with the bishop if you wanted to also, but um, I'm thinking the bishop is actually a little bit more active right here. So look, the knight, the knight's moves are the bishop takes away and the pawn takes away those. This is the only knight move he has. This is the only knight move he has. So that's got to be worth something. And then the knight doesn't have this square after he moves there. He could come here and, and right, could come here and blockade the pawn. And white could say, great, I'll come here because if you take my bishop, I have a pass pawn forever. I have a pass pawn forever. So yeah, I was, I was wondering, you know, me, I'm thinking he just goes here, creates the pass pawn. Pass pawns are just they're beautiful things, guys. And this one I don't get. It blocks the pawn. Now it does keep the knight, but it doesn't keep the knight out of here. The bishop was actually doing better here. This is a great square for the bishop. There was no reason to move the bishop unless he's thinking he's got to get his knight here. But why? Knight here was such a good square the whole game. So Dolo, I think he made a mistake, but let's see how he, yep. Yeah. And that's where he wants to put it because he wants to attack this pawn, I guess. Again, that is your weak backward pawn. But this pawn is weak too, and we already saw that he could have forced a um, pass pawn out of it. Now you start. Now you're starting to attack at the at the pawn chain. So in this move, I have no clue. Okay, you're attacking the pawn chain twice. He just real. He. I mean, am I am I am I confused? Why doesn't he chest protect? Hey, thanks for the raid. Uh, oh, magician, magician. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I have built, but yeah, okay, you're going to, okay, that was interesting. Um, that was very interesting. But thanks for the rate of one. And, and it doesn't matter because the, the sentiment is what we care about. Hey, authors, Athos, thank you. So if you read only by yourself, guys, I think that's still cool. <laughs> it's just fun. And call it a rate. But thank you. Thank you for the party of one. I am happy for any raids. We do lessons here. We teach chess. Um, so hopefully you like chess. Hopefully that's, hey, is that French? Because uh, Leonard isn't here right now. But um, Leonard uses Magician for his uh, tournaments too, I think. Maybe even for streaming. But anyway, back to here. So yeah, this is like mandatory, right? We're talking endgame now. Come on. We got to protect the pawn. It's attacked twice. How do we not protect the pawn? I don't get it. I don't get this move at all. Not, not, I don't get it. At, I don't, I never took the beautiful, beautiful square that we could have had. Um, hey, thanks, Chess Wizard. Yeah, yeah. And so he wins the pawn. We give him free candy. And guess what? More free candy. So good on you, Dolo Bender. Good on you. When your opponent makes a mistake, gives you free candy, um, Eat it up, man. Eat it up because that'll just give you, look at this, more free candy. And so Dolo Bender says, I'm up two, two past pawns, and he got rid of the bishop, and so now he's looking golden. I mean, seriously, white had a beautiful pawn chain, and all three pawns are gone now. All three pawns are gone now. Hey, Arthur, you came over with the raid? Arthur's? Oh, great, great. Hey, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, we do lessons. We teach. Mostly we teach. But on Saturday, if you're interested, on Saturday, we do a little different thing. We do hand and brain with my good friend, Sudakus. Um, we do hand and brain, and it's fun. And he teaches me Spanish, 
and then I do. Yeah, white misplayed it, massively misplayed that, but black took advantage. So good job. And you're right, white just totally misplayed that. Um, and it looks like you missed another free pawn there. I think you missed another free pawn. So this king can't go there. No, you didn't miss a free pawn. You almost, I would have given away your knight. Sorry, I just, I'm just looking at this fork, right? I'm just like automatically finding these forks. And yeah, you, you can't go there. I mean, you could go here and threaten it, but yeah, so what, right? Okay, all right, check, goes back and you bring the king. The king comes to life. Kings are attacking pieces in the end game. We've said that many times. Kings are attacking pieces. Adolo Bender, the only thing I might have done different here is duo up your pawn so you could start pushing either one, especially when the knight is holding the square. Just gut reaction again. Reflex for me would be to start pushing this pawn. The knight doesn't have these squares. The knight only has that square. Your king is keeping out the knight after, you know, either after even the next move. Uh, I'm thinking we start pushing these pawns. Past pawns want to be pushed. So the check is a check. Checks are fun. Um, but I'm always looking for, but now you get the pawn, right? Now you get the pawn because he went here. Didn't have to go there. But now he gave you a fork. And you went for this pawn, but you had free candy. And and I know that one might seem obscure, but again, the king can't get in yet. So I'm liking this because the king can't, king can't, king can't, king can't. King has to go backwards. So the king has to go to one of these squares. And when the king does, even if he chases your knight, you're here, you have a way to hold the knight next move. You've got now three pass pawns. So I'm thinking that would have been a better move. Here he just, right, he has to keep, yeah, he keeps pushing and he trades and you could have had this third pass pawn. Just no big deal. All right, repositioning. Again, uh, the knight didn't need to reposition. Again, uh, I do want to protect this pawn now. I want you to push, that's where I want to go. Always wanted it to go. So, okay, we're not there yet. So, okay, I can live with the repositioning. Uh, and you, of course, got to be careful. And he's not getting anywhere. All right, finally, he attacks something. And you ignore it. I don't blame you because your past pawn is going to queen. Now, it's still going to queen. But you didn't, you could have given yourself a little bit easier time, right? Just by coming here. Because now the king can't get in, the knight has to move, he's got to take a long time to get any chances, any chances. And yeah, so now the game should be pretty straightforward. Uh, but you know what, guys? you got to know how to win. How do you stop the pawn when you have the queen, right? So, very good, Dolo Bender. Uh, you played solid. Uh, your opponent actually had the advantage. This, this pawn, by the way, is still on d6. Uh, this was your weakness. This was the weak pawn that he should have tried to figure out how to win. He did a really good job of getting his knight in here, and then he just lost the thread. His knight became a... I don't know what his knight did. His knight went here, here, back again, back again. His knight became a totally non-player. Yeah, a lot of free candy, Arthur. A lot of free candy. And uh, free candy is the bane of all beginners. Bane of all beginners. So um, just as uh, as a reminder, guys, when I teach... I try to get my very beginner beginners, and I'm probably going to be doing this for some of our lessons we do for the Mayhem Tournament. In the Mayhem Tournament, I know at least one of our players we're hopefully are going to be playing, Keely Valentine, she needs basic basics. She doesn't even know the names of all the pieces or the way they move. And I want to help her because we're going to be getting her to learn the, all the rules, got to do the rules up front, know how the pieces move, and then we're going to be teaching her about free candy ton about free candy uh, because that is the number one thing. If we can get you to stop giving away free candy, life is good. All right, so Chess Wizard is challenging me to a game, and tonight is our night for challenges. So I will take on Chess Wizard's challenge. Oh, you like betting on underdogs, Chris? Wait, wait, Chris, didn't you bet on me in the adoption match? I think you bet on me on the adoption match. Oh, good. Well, good. Dolo Bender, I'm telling you, our goal is to get you to be awesome, and I think we're going to get you there. So I know he knows I play the French a lot, so I'm curious what he's going to pull up. That's true, Chris. That's true. But yeah, he, he told you he was the underdog. 
And technically, I think he is the underdog because that's why it's an adoption match, right? You got to be playing somebody usually that's um, lower rated than you because otherwise, you know, <laughs> you have no chance, right? If we were equally rated and I'm doing a, uh, um, a, a match, that would be terrible. Uh, I'm not even thinking. Let me think, guys. Uh, I should think a little bit. Oh, I got my shot today. My first um, vaccination shot. I'm old enough. I should have had it like months ago. But I finally got my first shot. And just now, my arm is getting sore. It hasn't been sore all day. I got it like 10 o'clock this morning. All right. Um, so my pin is broken. He broke the pin. Good job. I like breaking pins. Uh, we could go and trade off some stuff and, and see if he'll trade off stuff, right? He can if you get the bishop here instead of the queen, but if the queen can trade off and trade off stuff, um, could just protect the pawn. That's always a good idea, right? Why not protect the pawn? So let's protect the pawn, right? Let's protect the pawn. Let's develop. Oh, oh, Chris, cool. Hopefully uh, she and I and my wife, who also got it today, we have no side effects. That would be nice. I know. I know, especially the second shot, Ratchet. Um, that's what I've been hearing from most of the people I know. There's Leonard. Hey, uh, is is our new friend here? Arthur, have you lost yet? Have you left yet? Or was it Arthur that was speaking French? No, it was a magician. So, yeah, we had someone speaking French, Leonard. Um, he was here. He was here. <laughs> uh, salute. Salute. Oh, so let me trans. Let me go over and look at. I believe I made it for a game review. No, that tells you who I'm playing. Watching games live. There you go. So that way you could actually see the clock. I meant to do that. Ah, oh, I love end games. I love end games. So Carpod's commentaries to his games, huh? <laughs> you should go through them. You can't be going through too slow. You're just going through them slow. Hey, well. Arthur, you're in a good place. Uh, I This stream is meant for youth friendly all the way up, 8 to 80. All right? So are you never going to catch me cussing and saying bad words? Um, if you do, let me know. My mom will smack me upside the head. Uh, but no, uh, it's no cussing. We try to be, keep clean. I have very strict mods on my everything that goes through because we have young people that come. I teach uh, a lot of my students that I teach in real life that may want to watch the stream are also young. So we believe in keeping it clean. So you're very welcome, Arthur. Uh, Arthur, the, we don't, you're, you're very, feel, I hope you feel at home here. Oh, salut, salut, not salute, salut. Oh, salut. Hmm. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, Yep. And and Chris is one of my mods, Arthas, and he does protect and make sure we do it right. Oh, Ratchet, you're not? You're a pretty strong player, Ratchet, and it doesn't mean you have to be an adult to be a strong player, of course. Cool. We've had, uh, let's see, so we had, we found out the other day we have three 15-year-olds, and they're all three online right now, I believe. Well, King's not here yet. Um, so I don't know everybody's ages, but cool. Ratchet, that's excellent. Uh, we, we like I said, all ages welcome. All right, we got an interesting game. Not sure what I want to do. Ah, many ideas, very few answers. I have ideas. I'm gonna go this way. G dot, yeah, G dot. You're young too, then. Okay. <laughs> yes, Brandon. I know. I know you're one of them. I know you're one of them. Hey, Dolo, what, what are those emotes? One of those looks like Sudakus with a hat on. Is that the Sudakus uh, emote, or is that yours? Is that just some other one that I don't know? G dot at 31. I'm older than you by far. <laughs> I'm almost twice your age, G dot. Almost twice your age, Doc Charmin. <laughs> Doc Charmin. All right, all right, all right. Hey, we're going to give a shout out to Sudakus because we love him. I got the stuff made up. I'm I'm using my bot. I'm using my bot. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Knew that was kind of coming. I care too much. 
I care, but how much do I care? I don't know. You pay more attention. Kind of having fun. Um, yeah, we'll go that way. <laughs> yeah, if she was a dude that looked like you, that would be her. Gotcha. All right. Oh, we get complicated. We get complicated, folks. We get complicated. We go there. He takes, I take. Oh, I don't like it. I want to move. I just want to move. I don't want to. Oh, and, and I got to be careful. Got to be careful. I got options about where to move to. If I move here, this doesn't work yet because of this, but I want to do this. If I move here, this pin is there, but do I really care? I don't think I care. I think we're gonna have fun, guys. We're gonna have fun. You know, that's that's that. Hey, Dolo Bender at 22. I know a lot of 22s that don't watch family friendly content. Hopefully, mine actually lists it as family friendly because I keep making sure I put it on. So, hopefully, if you search, it shows that this is family friendly. So, I hope so. But I, I'm proud of you because the 22, there's a lot of 22 year olds that don't understand that they should be family friendly, right? They don't get it. All right, so we wanted to do this. It isn't as powerful. This isn't as good because of that. But maybe if we go here first, then if he takes, if he takes, then we get there. Here we get there. Yeah, because then you know, he could, he could plop him in there, but we get to take a whole, uh, we get to take off a whole lot of stuff. Be interesting. Um, we could go here first, then he goes here. Then we don't have much to show for it, right? We can go here, but we're not really threatening it. Exciting. Um, I think we want to move this eventually. We want to maybe even get him out of the way eventually. Can't do it now. That. So the question is, can we do anything with this? Really doesn't have any threats to, but again we're having fun, so let's try it out. Let's just do it. Oh, am I ratchet? I'm I'm doing better. I I mean to be honest, I haven't looked at my ratings in a long time. Oh, I am. Okay, I see it up here now. It's up on my sheet. Um, I I don't I just don't look at it a lot right now. I haven't played a lot. I haven't played a lot at all. I just, I, I've been teaching, and so I don't end up playing any games. I don't study. I, I want to do puzzles. I bought Aim Chess, by the way. Um, I do like Aim Chess. I'm not doing a commercial. It's just there. I'm like, I like Aim Chess. Okay, so he has to go here, right? He has a choice. It's not going to be good. Oh, look at this. What is that? Okay, that is threatening here. Hmm. That is a nice move, a move I did not expect. Hmm, I could take here, then he takes here, then I take there, then he takes here, and I still take back, and I still I lose a piece. Yeah, I would be down a piece. If I take here, he takes here. I take here, he takes here, down a piece. Right now, we put down a piece. Okay. Down a piece. I could just take. Doesn't have to. He has to go here. Family fork. We know that's coming. We can go here. He has to take here pretty much, right? This moves. Then we take back. He to the right. Um, am I happy with the situation? Lost this pawn, but that means that I have a file. Uh, so that has some possibilities. Oh, this is just complicated. Oh, this is so complicated. Take here, but I don't see a way to make it work after. So if I take here, he's got to take here. Wait, wait, let's see. We can go here. That would protect here. Protect here. Doesn't really get to do that. We can push. Pawn will be weak. But my king is... I open a file. I gotta keep running my king away. That aspect. Uh, let me think again. So take. 
Now what? All right. Now that's up. And that already looked at doesn't work because we take here. Oh, wait. We take there. He takes here. I don't have to take that. Uh, the bishop can leave. He can get this pawn. I can get that pawn. We still have a bishop. I did not get a free pawn out of it, did I? He takes. I don't get a free pawn. That pawn is sitting here. No, the pawn won't be sitting there. The pawn will take, and the pawn will take again. Okay. So when the dust clears, if I move the bishop out, like say here, and hit these, um, my king would be here, hopefully, and uh, the bishop would have some life. My king would be here. Uh, but my king away, maybe. We'll have that pawn. Ah, uh, so complicated, guys. So complicated. Makes my head hurt. Wow, look at you gifting subs, G, G Dot. Thank you so much. And we're going to be doing a one on one lesson with G Dot on Sunday. Come and check it out, guys. Come and check it out. Come and check out the one on one lesson with G Dot. Please. You should not be disappointed. You hopefully will like the lesson with G Dot. So um, I was looking at this and I was looking at this. This one backing up to here. Ooh. No, how about just backing to here? Oh, I like that better. Okay, we're going to try this now. We, we thought I didn't like it, but now I kind of like it. Locking that in. I like that. I'm liking that. I'm feeling better about that. And we're just going to, we're in an end game. I don't know if I'm winning the end game. Two versus three, three versus four. Yeah, it's equal. All right, equal end game. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you, G Dot. Thank you. Thank you. G-Dot's the man. All right, guys. Hey, hey, he's giving out gift subs. Creative Minds, you get a gift sub. I'm impressed. Dolo Bender, regular, regular. Sly Chess, thank you. Man, you're very, very generous, G-Dot. Thank you. And look at that. Now you guys get the emotes, the black cat, the chess cat, the black and white chess cat emote. I improved it. Supposed to have been a, um, it's supposed to look like that always, but I improved it because it was not looking like that. So what's going to happen now, my friends? We're going in, we're in an endgame. Opposite color bishops should be drawerish. Should be very drawerish. Very, very drawerish. Um, let's see. Doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me. I want to get over here and cause havoc. Rooks belong in open files. That's an open file. That's behind a not a pass pawn, but a potential. Only have one one of those to worry about on that color. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to actually march my way up and into here. That's where I want to. And I'm actually going to go here, trying to entice him to to make moves like that. I really am. <laughs> Um, again, end games, guys, end games. Uh, yeah, so Ratchet, not a big story. We're a cat family. Um, we've had dogs when I grew up. We've had cats and dogs. And I was always, I, I had, the cat was my cat, right? It was, uh, the cat's name was Tom Tom. Big cat. I mean, big cat. And he was a Tom cat. And he'd just go off and you wouldn't see him for, for maybe a week at a time sometime. Right. Um, so... I was, I was, you know, he was mine. The dogs were owned by my brothers or my one brother, my mom, you know, well, anyway. So I love cats. So I got married to a woman who loves cats and we've always had cats. And this is our recent cat. We have two of them and they're both beautiful Maine Coon mixes. And, and you can see how fluffy this cat is. And I just, when I was looking for a logo for my stream, I thought, you know, a cat looks like it's a chess cat, it's a black and white cat. You know, that's, what else can you think of, right? I think of black and white patterns. I think of chess. And so I thought it was a chess cat. So I named it the chess cat thinking that's what I'll, you know, I'll, I'll kind of like publicize the stream as the chess cat. Come check out the chess cat. Yeah, um, never happened. <laughs> so um, instead of being a chess cat team, we've been doing uh, what you see here, which is... Um, Tiberian, right? There's no really the chess cat never comes into play. 
trademark pending yet. So um, yeah, we just never got there. Just never got there. That was the idea though. That, that was a concept. That was the concept we were working. Didn't quite work out. All right, I'm just gonna see if I can keep these guys at bay with my king, two against three. And then I'm gonna swing these guys over and see if I can maybe get some fun here. That's that's my thought process. Stick into it. Bishop at least is doing some good stuff, right? Even if I can get a maybe here, that'd be nice. Hard, right? Go here to protect. Okay. I'm thinking he gets in here. Let's see. Yeah, maybe ratchet. Maybe. Maybe. Might be the thought that counts. <laughs> Might be the thought that counts. So you can't get, oh, okay. So back to your question, sorry. I can't, still can't get to 2000. I'm seemingly stuck in 1980-ish. Well, we can possibly help you. I mean, that's what we do, right? So we might be able to help you. Let me see how this is going. Um, there's definitely, uh, oh, no, I don't have to worry about it. I think we're good. I think we have to worry about many um, oddities. So now, do I go all the way? No, I don't like going all the way. I don't like going here either. Gives him way more movement, but my right now my rook is tied down to protection. I like being protecting, attacking. Um, so since I want to be attacking, I'm going to push it so that I can free the rooks and the rook can become active. So active king and active rooks are critical in endgames. At least that's what they tell me. So we want to make our rooks active and we want to make our kings active. Excuse me while I get my water. Uh, you heard all that noise. I've got to close some doors. Okay. What is your name on Lee Chess? Tiberian. Oh, what is Ratchet's name on Lee Chess? It's uh, actually, I know that because I played him the other day. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about Fla Flavio beat you? Oh, you played today with Flavio. Oh, my clock is running and I didn't even notice it, guys. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. I just get, I get, I forget what I'm doing. All right, we're going to start with this one. I'm going to put the question to the bishop. Always a nice thing to do. Well, not always, but, you know, sometimes it's a good thing to do. Put the question to the bishop. Ask him what is he going to do with his life. What does he want to be when he grows up? You know, we'll put the question to the bishop. Put the question to the bishop. Might give us opportunities, guys. Might give us opportunities. Oh, he just says no. He's going to lock that down. Okay. All right. All right. I can I can live with a lockdown. We're, we're on lockdown here. Um, actually, we can push. Then he has to start protecting. Then we could take and we can open files. We want to open files. We don't mind opening files. Our king, both kings are pretty active. Um, but now the pawn chain is looking pretty solid. So now we get to open a file or the bishop can take back. Either way, I think I'm still happier with this scenario as we're playing it out. All right. What next, brown cow? Um, Got to be careful. But I think we're good. Yep, we can do this. Okay. Got to be careful because um, he's not protected anymore. He's an undefended piece. So you always got to be careful about sacks here that if you uncover, the rook can take. But right now, the king is in the way. And so we have time. Oh, well, yeah, Douglas Hain. Yeah, was it a Vienna Gambit or just a Vienna? I don't remember. But okay, so now he has the same issue. His rook is no longer actually in the square that he might have wanted to be in for protection reasons. Um, I got to make sure that I can protect this guy, which I can two different ways. Um, I do like this, though, but he just moved up, so that kind of takes care of that. And maybe I need to be advancing these guys. If I trade, trade, get both of those going, then we have an isolated pawn again to be hitting at. I'm kind of liking that. Got to make sure I can protect this guy. Big one. Got to protect this guy. Um, but he's got a lot of time to try to get there. So um, I'm going to push this. 
first. Yes, yeah, so let's push this one, then push this one, then push this one, and see if we can trade off a bunch. This guy still can't go here and can't go here. It's an interesting situation, guys. Definitely an interesting situation. All right. So he went there, attempted to block, lock this in. Hmm. More time to the push. And if he pushes, then I can push. Trades again. He pushed. We could take it with the king. Even better. We just take it with the king. Mm -hmm. I like that better. Okay. Remember, you can't get here to protect. Always a nice thing. Uh, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Well, again, Ratchet, maybe we can help you. Um, studying the end games, I think, will help everyone. You, me, anyone. It, it would help. All right. Let me think for a sec. You gotta always th think. Thinking is a good thing. Take this way, he could start mm. running. Oh, I'm running out of time. When I'm running out of time. All right. I don't have time to think, so we're gonna go here. Nice thing is at least this is actually that I didn't even realize that was going to be the case. The news is he here. Then he loses this. Is that worth it to him? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, guys. We're gonna have to wait and see. It's fun. Don't worry about it. Yep, Siberian. That's how you do it. And Siberian, are, are you who I think you are? Hmm. You my, are you my friend? Are you my student from, from uh, aged out of my class? I believe that was your name. I think you always used Siberian. I had Tiberian and you always had Siberian. So I was just curious if that was you. Okay, not sure where he's going, but we're going here. I'm not sure where he's going, but we're going here. This, this is where we're going. I'm going to see what we can do. An open file so we're going to try to play yes sir yes sir nice move you know i forgot that i totally forgot that that's going to be check but i did remember that i said the rook was holding it now i remember i was like oh man i'm gonna lose my rook to this and then i remembered wait 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 i did say that the check shouldn't happen i did say the check shouldn't happen All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, now, can we simplify to an one end game? I'm running out of time. All right. So first things first. Let's protect the pawn. Try to protect the pawn. Got to do first things first. Really has square, so that's good. I like that. Where's where? And I really like this duo. I mean, right? This is just so nice that they protect each other um, forever and ever and ever. Um, we can push here. Yes, we can. Go here or there. Okay, he chose to go back there. I was actually hoping for the other because I'm covered, which he did not fall for. Um, and we should be simplifying whenever we can. Makes sense to simplify that way. Let me think first. I think we do better this way. We do much better this way. Wow, that's a long paragraph. I'm going to have to read it. Give me a second. I'm in the middle of a game with 40 seconds left, and I get a five-second increment, so I will get to read that uh, paragraph in a minute, Dolo Bender, but I'm going to try to make sure I don't lose this game too quickly first. Ooh, Siberian. Got to definitely play you, my friend. That's my plan. Even with giving this one up, I think that's the plan. 
Can I move faster? Maybe then. I don't know for sure where he's going, but he's got places to go, has to do. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to save time moving. We can take here. Any reason why not? Back there. Go after this one. Back here. That bishop. This duo became quite worth it. I'm going to have to review this later, guys, because that became the reason why I did it. It seemed to be worth it and proven fruitful. Extremely fruitful. Get there yet? Now he can. Wait, this. That's probably I can't that way though. Ah, good game. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, that was a good game. Very good game. Just that drop the bishop there at the end. Otherwise, I think we're still going well. Let me read this paragraph. It sounded good. Everybody likes it. Well, I should read that out loud, shouldn't I? You should keep in mind no names, nor numbers, nor isolated incidents, not even results, but only methods. The method produces numerous results. A few of these will remain in our memory, and as long as they remain few, they are useful to illustrate and to keep alive the rules which order a thousand results. Wow, Emmanuel Lasker. So yeah, my wife is visiting. Not really. She's just talking. She's not visiting. Oh, thanks. Gave me the spider in the room. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that bishop check was the most genius move ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I was worried about it. At first, I was like, oh, man, he's going to win the rook. Yeah, yeah. I thought that, too, at first. And then I remembered, wait, I said he couldn't do that. Yeah, Brandon, sure, I would like a game. Um, actually, I have a game, Siberian. I'm going to play him first. We'll get that one started. Uh, Manny Alaska was uh, pretty cool. Dr. Alaska, I believe. All right. Siberian. So, Siberian, are you uh, who I think you are? Huh? Do, do you like initials like maybe uh, John Boy, JB? Huh? Oh, let's see. What are we doing? Oh, the French, my friend. French. All right. Let's play. Oh, either one. Either one, Brandon. As long as there's the five increment that gives me a chance to uh, not lose on time because I'm talking. Because then I usually realize when I'm down to like 10 seconds, I'm like, <gasps> and then I can, I won't, I'll stop talking and playing, start playing more. So I, I leave it up to you, but five point five and five might be better for as far as, um, what do you call it? Um, theater, what do you call it? Uh, viewer happiness, because the games go faster. We'll get more in. Uh, that is funny that you asked that, Ratchet. I like um, watching, um, what's his name? The Vampire Chicken? What's his real name, though? Um, I like him a lot. I, I, I really like him. I think he's a cool guy. Um, yeah. Uh, so I, I like the Vampire Chicken, and I like his studies, and I like the Ortho Snap. And I played my brother in the, um, in the adoption match that I did on Wednesday night. We did an adoption match. And I threw out the ortho snap as he played the French. So I threw out the ortho snap and I didn't remember what to do. He took like, you know, I, I was, I had the opportunity, but I couldn't remember it. And so I had to just, I played, I did not play it correctly. I definitely did not play the, the intended lines for the ortho snap. I ended up playing something else, uh, but it was funny because I, I, 
The only reason I ended up playing something else because I couldn't remember the actual line that I was supposed to. So there you have it. I feel I feel silly, but it's it's what happened. Um, yeah. You should have gone five and five. Would that have helped, do you think? Oh, what do I want to do? I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I know. I wanted to play it so bad. I was like, yeah, he fell into it. And then I go, well, I don't remember the third move. And then I was like, I could try to remember it, you know, piecemeal it together in my head. I thought about trying to piecemeal it together in my head. And I thought better of it. I was like, that's a little too dangerous. Trying to remember it on the fly in a five point five plus five game for viewer content. Thanks, Chess Wizard. <laughs> um, yeah, I... I uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Um, yes. Viewer content. That's what I meant. Yes. But 10, 10 plus five is fine. Gave us more time to talk about other things and, and, and to watch G dot giving, uh, out, um, giving out subs, just community sub gifts. He's awesome. Hey, Ryan Saurus. Thank you for the follow and puzzle master. Thank you for the follow. We reached a hundred followers guys a couple of days ago. Um, I'm not 100% sure who was the number 100. I think it was Lycan, a werewolf. It could have been Keely Valentine. I'm not sure, but it was so cool. Uh, we got the 100. Didn't uh, really, I, I wasn't pushing for it. So didn't really have much of a, anything set up for it. I'm just happy that it, it was kind of cool that it happened. Uh, let's see. I have no idea what I want to do here. I had not thought about it. I had not. So many choices. No concrete idea of what I want. All right, we're going to create a pass pawn. All right, pass pawns are are people. I mean, you've got to love a pass pawn. So we'll just create the pass pawn. Hey, we'll see you. Oh, uh, Ratchet, you're leaving. All right. Hey, have a good night, Ratchet. Thank you for the well wishes. Uh, we we should have hopefully another half an hour of a good stream. Hopefully, and thanks. Hey, thanks, Brandon. What's the uh, congratula great congrats for? What did I miss? Always sack for content, Chris. I will I will work on that much harder now that you've uh, pointed that out. Thank you, my friend. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? We need to we need to uh, get sack for content. I got to figure out what to do with my pieces because they're like not coordinated the way I want them to be coordinated. I really like a one. I like it so much. I'm thinking about getting rid of it. Believe it or not, I'm thinking about popping that in. I want to do that. Pushes, yeah. There. You protect those there. I take. Get my knight into the game. Don't know where. All right, let's develop. I'm going to just develop. Oh yeah, thanks, Brandon. Thanks for the congrats. Again, I wasn't I wasn't trying to get them, so but um Chess Wizard was watching and it, it was I mean it's nice to say it. Uh, you know, we had a hundred hours now. We've streamed for a hundred hours and we have a hundred followers, and they were close, and like within a week of each other. So that's kind of cool. Twenty one messages were deleted. My gosh. Oh, Chess Wizard, uh <laughs> This wizard, uh, some reason it thinks you're spamming. I don't know what you were typing in there, but it it, it says you were spamming. Hey, works for me, Brandon. Oh, excellent, Dolo. Excellent. And in Russia, that's a bigger deal, isn't it? Oh, okay. Common players. They are not very strong, but university team is very cool. It is. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, that's excellent. Uh, we do have a couple of universities here. Uh, one of them is in Texas, I know, University of Texas, and they have some really strong chess players. They have a whole program. It's, it's really, really excellent. Let's see. Okay. The knight wants to come, obviously, here. I don't think I care about this square form. I want to get my pieces activated. Um, I really want to get my pieces. The question is, do I want to? Kind of combat that. 
we can push there and make it a target for me. And then from there I can, ooh, I can't go anywhere. Okay, I'm not, I'm, my brain is going dead again. Let's go with this one. Give him a better target. See, today's the last day. Oh, that's. <laughs> yeah, no, Chris. No. No, unfortunately, all the fun is when you're a kid or you're an adult. Stay a kid. Every adult will tell you, don't rush to be an adult. I don't know of any adult that will tell you, oh, yeah, you should hurry up and grow up because, no, I don't know of anyone. Anyone who says that. So I got to double check. I think Siberian. I think Siberian is a friend of mine. He is. That is my ex student. Ex. My previous. My student. He's just my student. I'm just going to say. What do I want to do? Him down upon me. But I mean, of course, we don't want to give that away. We could go there. Start trouble. I like just saying go. Let's just say, go away, go away, go away, go away. Let's just say, go away. Oh, okay, twenty two hundred five. That's a good rating. That's not bad at all. Yeah, the the, uh, the Webster University and the they they have like international masters, grandmasters. They just got ridiculous um, players playing with them. Uh, so cool. That's excellent, Dolo. Excellent. So now we got to get you up, up there so you can, uh, but they'll help you a ton. If you're playing with them, that'll be awesome. <laughs> and Brandon means that with all the love in his heart, right? Brandon, I mean, we know you're saying that love. Okay. So we're going to be getting this. Just the question is, do we care? I don't really, I don't think I care. I think I'm okay with that. You're gonna just let him, let him push to his heart's content. Expose the king, and uh, we'll just back up and wait our, bide our time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and as you heard from my brother uh, the other night, uh, Dolo, um, I guess we also have Russian genes. So, and I don't mean uh, pants. Yeah, those kind of genes. Traveling around. I don't like that's here. I'm is it picking? What Siberian was my one of my favorite students of time. Me too. No, I shouldn't there because that was. Do not like that. Not a bit. All right. So we're definitely not going to take. This still wouldn't be a, a worry because we have that. Um, we could sack here. He takes. Got a lot of material over here, but material coming play. And it, we we are playing for fun, right? So you know how it goes. Let's play and have some fun. Oh wow, Dolo Bender, that's fascinating stuff going on there. Still got that pack. Ooh, now we could bring him in for complications. Doesn't work because then no, we still get that. That might be a nice move. I'm gonna have to go with this one. Protect it here. So. Um, that I think he gets to sit there for a while. Let's get to pin him now. Let's get to pin him. There he goes. There, there goes the pin. Uh, we get this though. I can go there. Do I care? Does that help me? What does it build for me? I want something for my money. I think we're gonna go with uh, that guy, and we're gonna go. This is interesting. This is an interesting game. 
Okay. Hey, Brandon, um, you know, depending on your rating and, and where you're at, you know how I feel about openings. I'd, I'd much rather you spend your time not even toying with openings, but learning the concepts to the openings. I'm all for, 100% for that. Hmm. Now what? Now what? Do I have that. Uh, I got to get out of this pin maybe eventually. I just want to move. We're just going to move. We're both getting low on time. Sacrifice was obviously dubious, but fun. So he's not going to complain. Fun. Oh, look at that. Well, it's not really a mess because I can't move anyway. All right. I'm going to throw this one in. We can. We can. Oh, okay. Not what I expected to see happen. We throw this one in, then he gets this in, and it's going to be annoying. But we can't get this one in. Let's go with that one. Get that. And we can get that. It's getting interesting, guys. It's officially getting interesting. Can't take that way. I was thinking he could take that way, but he can't even take that way, guys. And then I think we get that check in. That's got to be interesting. It's got to be worth at least the price of admission, they say. Um, what now, brown cow? We go here, he takes. We don't get anything for it. We take here, we get nothing for it. And this is actually protected in a weird way. We could go here, I think. And he could just push up, right? Oh, I'm running out of time. Time to make a move. Gotta make a move. Gotta make a move. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta make a move. Gotta make a move. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, I expected. Gotta make another move. Moves. What's it ticking? Uh, I don't have any brilliancies, but we do get this one. So we get to win the night. Rook now. That's, that was just unfortunate. Wait, wait, wait. Are we in a rush? No, no. Anything better, we take. If I don't see anything better, we just got the exchange back. I could take the queen, his king takes back, and then what do we get? Not a lot. Start with this. Go with that. Now we can go with. Time is running, man. This is fast. Now, now we're oh, we are under such pressure. Clock is creating such pressure. I still can't allow this. I still can't allow this. I so badly want to allow it, and I cannot allow it. Okay, we can do this though. I should be able to do that. That I can do. That I can do. Siberian, you're playing awesome. Awesome, my friend. Hurry up. You got to move. Hurry. Hurry. Thank you. Hey, you should have taken back with the bishop. Ah, oh, you resigned. Yeah, you should have taken with the bishop. You had to take with the bishop, me amigo. All right. Oh, we have time for another game. Amazing. Chess Wizard, you're up. All right. Uh, yes, David, you can play me. So let me tell David that real quick. Uh, give me one second. How do I do that? Um, let me start the game. Now let me go tell David yes. Uh, let's see. Casual. A5. And, all right, sorry guys, let's get back to the game. All right, Chess Wizard. Okay, we'll play the Vienna with Chess. Wow, excellent, King. I think your chess, I think your chess.com rapid is higher than mine then. <laughs> um, I think your rapid rating is higher than mine. Chess Wizard knew I was gonna do that. He pre-moves that. He loves pre-moving that on. 
because he knows I play this. I was good. I like. I always like when I see him free move. Okay, let's see. I, what did I miss in the chat? While well, I was so focused, I could not take my eyes off of the game, guys. Just, I was too focused. What did I miss in the chat? Uh, let's see. Ooh, would you like that? Best wizard? Uh, let's see. Tiber's also when we play and expect. Okay. Different opens. So if I play weirdly, okay. Oh, yes, I completely agree, but I have hit an error. Come back and read that in a few seconds. I got to figure out what to do in this game. It's got to be something good. Or dead. I don't know. You're going to have to show. That was last game, right? Chess Wizard? I'm sorry. I can open my chess courses 2000 by blood transfusion. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I'm late today. You are, King. You're a little late. 8 o'clock we start. I need 8, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I have no idea what it is where you're at. And all the time, Chris? That would be great. Yeah, but you've been playing other fun stuff, right? I know you've been playing other fun stuff. Um, two, two. Good do. Wow, this is this is normal. I just want to do about. Okay, um, you know what? We're gonna make a strange move first. Let's go with this. Yeah, I know you've been playing that uh, basketball stuff. I did that to actually provoke that, just to keep him out of it. So it was just an idea. An idea some of us had a long time ago. Yeah, I was worried about this. Actually, I was really worried about. This. So I'm not worried about. I'm seeing right now. I was worried about that. that looked bad. I think if Chess Wiz had done that, I would have been much more nervous. And that's what I was trying to get instead of that one. Just I thought it was not as good a square for him. For him. All right. So now I feel like throwing stuff away again. Uh, I really do. Gosh, I. If I do that, then that becomes a, basically a pass pawn. He doesn't have it up. If he up, I don't have to pay for it. This is a very strange looking situation. As far as I can tell, it's strange, guys. One of the things I got to think about is that because that can uh, force him to be fun. <laughs> We could do that anyway. That's definitely an option. I get that way. And if he does. Oh, okay. Okay. Threats, 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 and chase. Play chase the king, queen. We like playing chase the queen. Play chase the queen, guys. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah, I should have, King. That was my plan. That was my plan. That was my total plan. Okay. Ah, yeah, Dola. Okay. Yeah, that was my plan. That was my plan. Yeah, and I just slept. Don't ask me. I have no idea. I just slept. <laughs> just... I was thinking he wasn't here. I was thinking, all right, play, play, get here, get over here. Life is looking good. Totally missing. <laughs> that is just free candy. Uh, good job of taking the free candy, uh, Chess Wizard. No problem with taking your time to make sure it was free candy, but it was. It was just, it was just bad play on my part. Oh, you're giving back the candy. Okay, not as good a piece of candy, but I'll take the candy, man. I'm, I'm. The candy man can. I will I will definitely say thank you and try to get back into this game with with free candy opportunities. 
very happy to get a chance to get back into this game. Thank you very much. Oh no, my cook? <laughs> Your cook or rook? Oh yeah, I my I should have said oh no, my rook because that was that was bad play on my part. Uh, let's see. Doesn't really threaten too much yet. Got to be fun. I mean, I don't I mean the this guy is still not in the game. He's got to find a way to get back into the game. While he's trying to find a way to get back into the game, I got threats, man. I got threats. I got threats coming. Yep, hey, we got threats coming. I think we got threats coming. Game just turned into a slug fest. Slugfest. Yes, it's a slugfest. There. Try that. But it does get to run away. No. Works for me. Oh, you can't go there. <laughs> you can't go there. You might try that. That actually, that may, okay, that, that's an option. That's an option I did not contemplate. All right, so let me think it through. I don't really want to do that because that helps put him there. We want him to do that. because then that. So if that wins, can I go here? Gets to pop up. Then what? Nothing, nothing. All our fun ends. But maybe we bring in more reinforcements. Which is take. Um, but if he takes, that does get this he loses. That. Okay, let's go with um, I think I need to do which is let's go with that. Trying to find the right moves in this situation is not easy for not easy. Being green or red or purple or any other color. Okay, so now I got to figure this out. There first, here, here, here. And there's my dwindles away to nothing. So do I take this way or I take this way? I'm thinking I like taking this way and keep everything right where it is for me. Go this way and keep everything right where it is just for the moment. As we like the fact that he has no bananas. He has no bananas. Doesn't work. I think that doesn't work. I think he can't do that. Right? This is, this is like checkmate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Can't do it. Good game, Chess Wizard. That was an interesting game. Oh, no, my rook. That was an interesting game. All right. David, another student. And this is probably my last one for the day, depending on how long it takes. But let's see how it's going. Um, oh, and you know what? You guys didn't remind me. Good game, Chess Wizard. Very good. You didn't remind me. I was supposed to be working on showing transitions to the end game. Didn't do that. David, are you there? All right, David doesn't seem to be there. So he's not watching live. So he might need a little bit because um, he's watching it through Lee Chess. So he might need a moment to see that the game has ended. So I'll, give him, I'll give him a few minutes um, uh, while I just check out that, right? So again, remind Goose, and I'm going to make one. Um, going to, I'm going to make one about Mayhem. I'm going to hopefully get all of the players that we can find in there. Hey, we'll see you later, Chess Wizard. Thanks again. As always, mi amigo, thank you. Um, muchas gracias para um, todos cosas. Thank you. All right. See, I told you he was just, uh, he was not not available. I didn't realize. So um, David uh, D. De Gear, um, he's one of my students, and he's been getting very good. He's been playing very well. Um, been playing very well. 
Uh, David, this is, it's supposed to be not rated. He made it rated. And he's lucky because I didn't notice, so we're still playing because I would have I would have aborted so we couldn't do it as casual. And I only do that because, again, I, I'd rather be able to keep talking to you guys, and I don't want to um, get too focused on trying to win, and rated makes me try to win too hard. Now he's going to get me where I'm going gonna, gonna to have to focus. You told me something about Chess Dabbler. Can you remind me what you told me? Because I do not remember what you said. I do remember you telling me something about Chess Dabbler. I don't remember what it was, though. Is he a genius? Is he uh, super high rated? Is he like, uh, I don't know. Oh, really? Wow. Well, that's pretty awesome. So who, I don't know who he is, though. Um, so I don't know if that's like normal that he would get rated by Levy. I don't know. Is it normal? And how many did how many did he have rate him since he got rated? I mean, take it he had people rate him. I mean, he had a, a lot of people show up, right? Four thousand people. Wow, Flavio, that's amazing. Wow, four thousand people. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'd do if I got rated by with four thousand people added on. I, I I seriously I don't even know what I. Would. I would probably just start laughing because I wouldn't even know how to react. All right, let me think for a second, guys. Um, David's playing genius chess. He's hearing about David since. Um, he's playing genius chess here. That's what he's doing. I don't know. Start to wonder a little bit. I don't know if he's been studying like crazy or what. Just 10 people? Wow. So how did how did Levy find him? How did Levy decide that? I mean, do I have to like praise Levy every chance I get so he goes, oh, this guy, maybe I'll raid him. <laughs> I seriously wouldn't know what to do with 4,000 people anyway. Um, you know, when I when I look at it, I'm looking at it since we're trying to teach and build the community. Uh, 4,000 people coming would be just, I don't know if it'd even be useful. I mean, I seriously don't. All right, looks like we're going to get to an in-game kind of situation because, uh, I don't know, let me think for a second. I got 10 minutes. We have a long game. It should slide over. Up, up. Popping up, actually. Uh, it's that. It's there. There. And we that over. We can slide it over even sooner. You know what? We're just gonna go here. I'm gonna transition to that end game already. Probably see if he wants to. Yep, he wants to. Now who do we want? Oh, uh, I'll take this one. And we're going to go here. We haven't, we haven't moved our king yet. So we can still cast the nicety. Nice to be able to cast. Hitting our pawn. And so we'll castle and protect it with the king. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no worries. We're going to hit that guy first. Very good move. David is playing genius. Again, I'm, I'm quite interesting. How well, David's playing today. Or in general. Or in general, it's just quite fast. Makes you go, hmm. Again, look how fast. 
And he's got this stuff down pat. Oh, take even takes with the knight. David's just crushing me. David's just crushing me. Yeah, I do wonder. I do wonder. And look, you could use only a minute. He's got five second increment, but he's only got a minute. Makes me wonder, guys. It does make me wonder. Crushing me. Does me. Will, will, will. Yep. Just wonder. Don't know what else to say. Okay, see, now he's making moves that I'm not worried about. But before that, his moves were uh, better than golden. I mean, I, I'm very confused. Anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, no blunders, uh, eating up my blunders. I'm, I'm impressed or mm, suspicious. I think I'm more, I'll try to be impressed. I'm trying to be impressed, guys. I really am. But I do become a little suspicious. Just a little bit suspicious. I, a little bit suspicious. Sometimes he plays like, Genius. Genius. A veritable genius. And it just makes me wonder where it's coming from. Veritable genius. And he continues. I mean, seriously, guys, this is like, like you think about it. This is a rather amazing level of play that we're seeing from this young man. From this young man. Oh the young man is causing me troubles. But yeah, the level. I'm, I'm just impressed. Impressed. Almost confused, but mostly impressed. Now let's see. Restrict him. And yeah, beautiful. And I and I saw it after I did it. I was like, yeah, that's where I would go. And he did. He's like playing very well. I just wonder. But that was just bad. My part for sure. I don't see anything here, guys. Let's go here. Been playing genius at lights out. Let's see. He keeps on playing genius. Now he plays a little human. I mean, why? Let's just take there and dominate. Right? That would have just been domination station right there. It makes me, again, I just... Wonder, wonder, and wonder, trying to figure it out. And I go there. Somebody tell me why. Okay, I'm going to go there now. I didn't go there last time. I'm, the, I'm not even going to take this one. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't. I have to. He outplayed me again. He outplayed me again. At least I know he can't. But yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, look at the moves this boy made. Great moves. I'm hope. I'm 
hoping it's legit because he's going to be awesome. He's going to be like an awesome player. That's all I can say. He's going to be an awesome player. Okay. I need to think. I need to take my time to think because he's playing way too good. I need to play fast. He's just, he's just amazing me. He is am Look at this. Now that one I don't like. That one I don't like. That's what I mean. I mean, brilliant plays up to that point. And then he makes moves like that. And I'm like, what are you doing, buddy? You you were just killing me. You were killing me. I think logically. Logically. That's what I was kind of hoping for. But again, how does he make these mistakes when his opening play was so beautiful? I mean, he, he got me. He was I was down a piece. What is he? I gotta I gotta work with him because he's either he's either ready to be uh, uh, the best student I've ever had, going to be the best student I've ever had, or uh, something. You know, I gotta work with him because this is just just amazing. The kid is doing really well. So here. Do I need this one right now? Actually, I just want. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm I'm dumb, right? I mean, why would I do the other? Why in the world would I do anything other? I have no idea. All right, um, let me think for a second again. Take them. So, um, I. Being behind the pawn is a good idea, but right now I know I need to get my king over. Orch just need to push this pawn. Just need to push. So we're going to start by going behind his pawn, ostensibly threatening. But then we just we just get there before he does. And then we can even just not let him get there. All right, much better. Um, and we can actually win the queen. We don't have to sack the rook. We don't have to sack the rook. We do have to knock the mate, which there's a chance of it because he has that pawn. Oh. I just. This way. Do it the right way. That's a lot better. Good game, David. Great game. Yeah, it's like he's two people. Like he played the middle game. The opening to the middle game, look at this. He played this like a um, savant. I mean, this is beautiful. He's playing the um, advanced, uh, not the French, the exchange French. And th who's doing this? Who is, I mean, who is doing this? Guys, come on. This is this is like, I mean, he's 1,391. Um, so 1,400 ready to play or play. It pushes that. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful, right? And then and then I get stuck with too many pieces. Look at this. I mean, how's he finding this? This is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I guess I needed to come over and protect, right? Let him take, you take, then you bishop doesn't finds it. At 1300, he's he's like nine and a half years old. This kid is awesome. Um, so here's where he started missing some opportunities, right? Um but yeah, what a great game by him up until that point. I mean, just played it perfectly. And then he missed the fork, right? And I I should have probably done the move before. Yeah, right now. Right now, fork, right? Better, much better. Nice foot hold, much better. I missed it. I don't know why I'm playing fast. 
Um, I needed to find a way to win back a piece. And then he missed another. But yeah, up until then, a genius. I mean, the kid that played the opening so well. Um, yeah, so well. I, it's like, oh, I gotta, I, I'm going to have fun with him in class. He, and, he, and he shows up. I teach three days a week. And they only have to show up for one. They're allowed to show up for as many as they want. And, and he shows up for a, a, more than one now. So it's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, it's, it's late. I should be quitting. Let me just check my wife is going to sleep. She's reading a little bit. I might be able to play another one. Maybe one more. Let me see what we have in the challenge pool. We have a 5-5 five -five with Krish and a 5-5 um, five -five with Mr. Morto. Um, Chris has been waiting. I'll play you one quick one, 5-5, five -five, and then I got to quit. Sorry, Mr. Morto. Um, we can definitely do it next time, but I, I got to get some sleep. So. And the shot, you know, I'm waiting to see how the shot reacts. All right, Chris, you've been waiting. You've been practicing. You said this opening, so we'll, we'll let you try it. All right, look at you go. Look at you go. All theory that you've already figured out hours ago, years ago, right? You were ready for this? Ready for this. I don't think I have a choice. Interesting. Okay, I gotta think it out. Chris has planned this for days. He said, King, he's worked on this. It's prepped it, ready to go. Hey, good night, Dolo Bender. Thank you. Muchas gracias, mi amigo. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Hopefully tomorrow for uh, Espanol. Ah, Dolo Bender. Nice moves. No complaints. Do this. I don't know if that does anything whatsoever. Actually, I think it's. I think if I do that, it does that, then it does that, then it, that works out very well. I don't think that works. Yep, yep. More problems. I think we're getting it. We'll have to wait. And see what our point comes up. We've got some nice stuff. I mean, King is prepped for this one. He's been ready. He said he studied. He's got it figured out. And he's playing very well. Got me on my heels. Right, going for this. Oh, okay. Drops, huh? He drops. Or yeah, I think first. You already got a. You already got a pawn on him. I'll live with. It. I got to do that. I gotta do that. Trouble here. I cannot keep messing around with, with this guy. He's playing too well. Like everybody's playing well tonight. My student, D Gear, what a game. Great job. Great job. That was the best one of my students who played against me in a long time. That was an excellent game. That way. Pick this. One. Oh, let's see now. What do we have? I'm actually up a pawn somehow. I ended up up a pawn somehow, guys. I had no clue. I did not count. I did not look. I did not think. I have no clue how I ended up anything. Situation. I thought I would be losing this game, or at least be down material at this point. I am shocked that I am not down material. We have tons of squares to choose from. 
kind of decide where he wants to go. Okay. That's one of the options. You can go for that, but of course, then chase me off. I like that, but then he gets to there and then cover the tax. So we don't like that. We can go here, might be even more fun. Let's just go for the end game. We're up one pawn, guys. So it might be worth it to go to an end game. Up one pawn. Okay, so now he gets this attack. Could go here. We go here. The second piece on there. X raying through. That works. He has no check now. That's not a check. That gives me a second piece there. And I just I just like it. I just like it there. I just like it there. Ooh, tough stuff. It is Friday. Good Friday. Happy Easter to everyone. Don't have to get up early. I'm not playing tennis tomorrow, but my wife might want to get up early. Good thinking. I'm glad King is taking his time looking, thinking. Not just because I, I, I want his clock to run down. <laughs> no, seriously, I want him. He should be thinking. It's requirement in think game. But he has lots of choice. Lots of choice. This one I, of course, don't like. This one's just... But he's got lots of choice. Yeah, that one works, right? X. Still threatening. Yeah, choice. I mean, it's it's choices now. Alignment though. Alignment says we go there. Definitely go. Gotta be a bit wary. See what else does he? Kind of like the alignment. I love alignment. Love finding alignment. Guys. Love finding alignment. I think it's valid. Yep, that would mess up a little bit. I still, I still have more. That makes me want to try. Could have taken. Taken, taken, taken. And move down. Maybe get to the end game. Up a pawn, so maybe I should have simplified to the end. All right, so this is interesting. He is giving me a free move. Right? He's giving me a discovered check, a discovered attack. Discovered attack on the queen. Okay, so let's think it through. Here he has two pieces attacking. And one of them he could take with the rook attacking my queen. All right, so if he takes with the rook, then I like taking here with check. Okay? So here he takes with the rook. We take here with check. He has to take here. He doesn't have to bring the rook. But he's going to take here. Then our rook takes back. And then he has to move the bishop back. And so at that point, he has a knight. Rook would be sitting here. So he'd have a rook and a knight and the bishop. I would have a bishop, a rook. Yeah, I would have run a, run a rook. That's that's nice. If I go here and he takes with the knight, then we just take his queen. If I go here and he takes here, we just take, and then he can take, and then we could take. So we good. Okay, guys, I might be missing something. I've missed things before in life. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Sometimes you just gotta try it. Hey, thanks, Mr. Mortal. I'm sorry. I'll happily play you next week, next time.
I'm thinking this should be good for me. They're here, depending on where you put between some. Look at the check. So if he doesn't do any of those other ones, he goes here maybe or here or here. Who knows? He goes, no, he can't go there. Yeah, it depends on where he goes. Then he could still have troubles with it. But I get the check in first. Pretty much has to take. Then we might we might be a big thing. Big thing. And if he takes back, then there, we check. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this works out well. Tactics, complicated. If I had 10 minutes left, I would have loved to figure it all out. But sometimes you have to go by a gut and a little bit of analysis. And I did a little bit of calculations and that's all I had time for is a little bit of calculations. All right. All right, so it goes here, different choice. We still have two hitting here. We could still get the check in first. Um, we take here. Okay, so now I gotta think again. We could take here first. We could take with the rook or with the queen. Takes with the rook. And still not free. I like taking here. My gut says just to take here and simplify. Simplify, simplify. Simplify with that. Um, and then we win another pawn. And after winning the pawn, then we're going to be threatening mates. That's feeling good, guys. All right. He already anticipated that. I can block him off to start. By blocking him off to start, then I'm threatening here. He doesn't have a rook to go here. He can't really put his rook. I think this can't get his queen that angle e. That works. I think it works, guys. I'm not 100% sure. Come out. Come out. Bishop back here. That doesn't work that way. Heck. Doesn't. I mean, we can go here, but then he just goes here, and then I can't do that. I wanted to do that, of course. Just go there. Take some. Simplify. Go to that end game. Fill up maybe two, maybe not. Goes there. Pitch this take there. Better. Not easy being green. Goes here. We can take here first. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really help. Can take queen. Can take. Doesn't really matter. He back would have been first. He just moved. So he did find. He did have a way. Stop my queen. Ah, uh, that was a. Ah, oh, no. What? What? I didn't even finger for all oh, man. That's not right. That's not right, guys. I'm I'm upset. Uh you saw that. That was a total miss. I didn't even misclick. Huh? Oh, well now I'm just frustrated, guys. Because that was not that wasn't me. I was totally, totally unintentional. I don't even know what to do anymore. Oh well, King will win this one. Okay, I, I gotta. Sometimes you gotta just just bite the bullet. You lose a game, you lose a game. I'm gonna lose this one because of a finger fault there. I was up two pawns, ready to go to end game, showing how I and somehow I dropped that piece there. Just don't know how that happened. Yeah, he takes off stuff. Oh yes. Yes. All right, guys, I'm ready to almost resign this one. I just so frustrating when you drop uh, pieces by accident. I mean, didn't even. What's that? Seriously, what is that? Somebody tell me what. That's not right. That's not right.
That is not. Ay, 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 ay. Nice one, Morgan. Yep. Not my good friend. Why not? I might take it. I have no chance. Oh, well. All right, guys. Uh, let me start looking for who to, who to uh, follow because this one's much over. Over. Oh. Yeah. Where's he going? A little bit of material. And this game should have been over. It should totally be over. Well, fine. Oops, whoa, whoa, what was that? Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry again. Okay, I will get this fixed, maybe before my 29 seconds run. Maybe not. Okay, um, I... There we go. All right. Uh, how's he situated? Field, like he absolutely dies. He oh, goes wait, in, he's wait. probably dead. Quiet. Quiet over there. All right. What are we doing? What? Attacking. Attack. Attacking. He's still attacking. Attacking. Definitely don't want to help. Hey, I think I did pretty well for dropping my queen for nothing. Totally dropping my queen for nothing. Just totally slipping up, dropping my queen for nothing. Hey, come on, King. Thank you. Come on, King. You got to know how to end this game. Come on, we've worked on end games, King. Don't fool around. You know how to do it. Okay, this is a slow burn. He's thinking, guys. Come on, end game easy. I can't believe I dropped. Can I pass? I don't want to move. I have no choice.
Oh, let's see. Sly Chess is on. Johnny D is on. Oh, Crybaby Carly. We're definitely going to trade her because she's our new combatant of the tournament. All right, King, I'm going to resign. Good job. Good game, buddy. Good game. Good game. All right, lost my last one for the night. Big time mouse slip, but I don't mind. King gets a win. All righty, guys. I think I handled his uh, prep pretty well, though. I think I did. Anyway, it was fun. Good job, King. Um, just checking the spelling because I've misspelled before. All right, guys. Uh, Crybaby Carly is our is one of our players in our tournament. One of the first to lock down. So please go check her out. See what you think. Let me know because she will be in our tournament. And uh, tell her that you're looking forward to seeing her in the tournament. See you guys later.